Once we have configured our clip transition graph that we can find here in the agent setup node, this graph we see in the viewport, we can test these transitions with a node called Test Simulation Crowd Transition. This node is like a mini .NET, a mini simulation inside our geometry node, and we use it to test our transitions and see if everything works fine without having to create ourselves the whole simulation. The first input is asking for agents, so I'll connect here my agent prep node, which is the last one in my agent node chain. The second input is asking for a clip transition graph, because this node is going to test transitions, so it needs to know how to manage those transitions. The third input is asking for a terrain, but in this case I don't have one. And the fourth input needs the clip properties. Let's display now the node and see what we get. Well, something is broken here. Remember when we set up our simulation, our .NET? We had a similar issue with these abstract shapes and we fixed it by adding the crowd state nodes. Here we have to do something similar, but instead of creating crowd states, we have to use these parameters here to let the node know which clips we are going to use. As soon as we select the initial clip, the issue will be fixed. And now, down here in the clip sequence parameter, is where we put the clip we want to transition to. And the trigger frame is the frame in our timeline where we want to activate the transition. This is exactly the same as the trigger we are using in our simulation by time current. By default, it will activate the transition at frame 10. One of the things that stand out is that our agent is now red. If we press play, we'll see that our agent will turn to different colors. It starts being red, then it changes to an orange mustard color, then it has these yellowish pistachio tones, and finally turns green. What is this chromatic madness? Let's go to the guides tab, and here we have the meaning of these colors. The red color, by the way, you can change this color if you don't like the default red. The red color means that the agent has not yet started the transition. The agent is just playing the initial clip, my run clip. The orange color means that the agent has received the command to transition to the second clip. The trigger frame is set to 10. So, it's at frame 10 that the agent turns orange. But we have still not reached that frame we set in the clip transition graph as a bridge to transition to the second clip, frames 14 and 28. Our agent knows that he has to transition to the second clip, but we have to wait a few more frames to be able to do it. Let's move forward a few frames and our agent will turn yellow. The yellow color means that the agent has reached a frame where he can finally transition to the next clip. Note, this is happening at frame 14, which is exactly one of the frames we previously set up as a bridge between clip A and clip B in our clip transition graph. When the agent reaches frame 14, he's now authorized to transition, so it turns yellow. You'll see that the agent stays yellow for a few frames. One, two, three, four, five, six frames in total. These six frames are the blend frames, those extra frames we use to make our transition smoother. And finally, when the transition is done and the agent is playing the second clip, it becomes green. As you can see, this node is very useful for troubleshooting our transitions, because thanks to these colors, we can know exactly which parts of the transition we need to improve. So, this is how we test our transitions using the Test Simulation Crowd Transition node.